Mark Pierce and representing the Treasure Coast Cartel. Please welcome Jojo Alford. Alford. Yes. This is the hey, there yes. <laughs> Great time kickboxing bout headed your way at 170 pounds. All right, so this is on too. So Jojo oh, Alford wow. making Two. his way to the Combatagon. He stands six foot one, 170 pounds from Fort Pierce, Florida. Trains out of the Treasure Coast Cartel. A striker with an unblemished three and zero record to his credit. He predicts a finish, and he wants to give a shout out to his team, Treasure Coast Cartel, Headbuster Brothers, family and friends, and his girlfriend Natalie. Check him out on his socials at Jojo B Flexin. And uh, if you're uninitiated, you might have seen some of us here uh, in costumes. It is May the 4th, and we are a bunch of Star Wars fans here. Uh, so, uh, any, definitely, anytime an event can uh, fall around this date, we have a May the 4th be with you. And that happens to be the date today. Would you guys do a May the 4th show on, like, a Wednesday? <laughs> no. Um, but if it's even close, we still incorporate yeah. Star Wars stuff. <laughs> Last year was Revenge of the Sixth. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, this is another Treasure Coast Cartel guy. These guys are exciting. Man, JoJo's got an extensive boxing background. Uh, if you saw some of his earlier kickboxing matches, he really showed it off. He did not kick much at all, but he's now been with Dan in the, in the TCC for at least eight or nine months now. So you got to expect hanging out with guys like Donnie Bush and Barrington Bishop, that his game has and will continue to expand. Has he fought MMA yet? Once, I believe. I, I feel like I've seen him fight MMA. A lot of anti-wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I might have seen him fight on a Rise show. Yeah. That might have been on Rise, I think. One of uh, Combat Night's November shows. Let's meet his opponent from the red corner. Fighting out of Jacksonville, Florida, and representing Ruckus Muay Thai, please welcome Brian Cold Killer Paul. Man, this is like the third Ruckus Muay Thai guy in this card, maybe the fourth. I think the TCC and Ruckus Muay Thai are having a battle for who's got more guys on our card tonight. I, I bet Smiley, I don't know how many Smiley's. Uh, has, but they usually have quite a few. It, especially in Jacksonville. And Smiley's guys travel down south and stuff, too. It's yeah. usually Elevate that has it. Or uh, Elevate. <laughs> I, the I got another buddy who lives up here. He was telling me. You train at Elevate in the morning. You train at Gracie Baja at night. You go to Jacksonville Muay Thai for your striking. Very few of the gyms do all the stuff you need them to do. Tent Planet Jacks. A lot of guys play uh, Tent Planet Jacksonville, too. Awesome. So Brian, the cold killer Paul, six foot tall, 170 pounds from Jacksonville, trains out of Ruckus Muay Thai. He brings a five and one record to the Combaticon this evening, and he predicts a stoppage in the second via body shots. No shout outs. In the headband. No hey, shout outs. None. Team no friends. He says, I'm coming off my first loss and having fought in New York, I'm pissed. Do you have any shout outs? No well, shout out to Uncle take Roger. His motivation and you can have a shout out to Uncle Roger? Because JoJo is trying to put hands on this man. No question that. And he's trying to keep his up. Can I say it? No, I can't. The O has got to go. If you ask Brian Paul. Correct. If you ask JoJo, the O's here to stay, my friend. Hands will be thrown. <laughs> this dude looks real, man. Like a little size. Brian looks like a little bit. JoJo's a little thinner. Brian a little thicker. You know, I feel like there's less of a, you know, issue with that in kickboxing versus Muay or versus MMA. You got a lot more weight classes in Muay Thai and in kickboxing, but it seems in Florida, like everyone just goes by MMA weight classes. Stuart Maddock, right. excuse me. JoJo Alfred in the blue corner. Brian. Ooh, they're Paul both red. meaning serious business. Ooh. Three two minute rounds. Serious <laughs> business. All right. Mm -hmm. Paul Antonelli established the control. Wow. These guys are not wasting time. I oh. think JoJo's been kicked in the balls in every single fight he's had. <laughs> You 
you gotta, you gotta wonder sometimes when you're stuck on the fence under that much pressure and you choose to go for the inside row kick and it just happens to be a little high. Good boxing here from JoJo. It's getting a little wild in there. He likes throwing, but when he was starting off with the straight shots to get inside, he had a lot more success. When he's throwing these big overhands, there's just too much space. This this fight is getting trippy. Yep. Gavin. Brian wanted to be out here as the big man, and JoJo didn't particularly care. He got right in his face, started throwing Brian's his. Here. That can shake the mentality of a competitor. Oh, I'm just gonna steamroll this guy. I'm big, and then he gets right in your face. Oh, oh, that guy's like, wait, I'm the big guy here. You know? They can have you thinking messed up. Yeah, right. Yep, the game plan doesn't work. Uh, uh, he really is quite a bit bigger. Yeah. Ah! Right. Mixing it up, little body to the head. Woo! Clean shots landing. JoJo's done a very good job of not getting hit with Brian's punches. He's having good success with his leg kicks, but when it, I mean, I guess you give the kicking advantage to Brian here and the punching advantage to JoJo. But JoJo's also not really trying to kick much at all. That knee was super high. Size is heavy. Yep. Oh. All right. These guys are both landing clean. The size advantage could be a factor in the clinch. It's definitely a factor. Corners, gentlemen. When you got some weight on them, and again, I don't know what JoJo weighed in at, but uh, Brian looks a good ten pounds, maybe more bigger. And if he's hanging on you in the clinch, you're you're carrying your weight plus the majority of his weight, and then the knees that are coming with it. Definitely taxing. His shoulder is seriously red. Yes, so yeah. <laughs> What's with the high kick? Is that you know, matter? Paul is Paul is a five and one. He's he's a little bit experienced in, in kickboxing. You know, Jojo, he's, he has a boxing experience, but I think you know the, it's not going to you know just boxing is not going to get him to win against. He would have like to experienced guy like he this. would have to hurt Brian. Yeah, and if he can't. Then he's gonna base just based on rules. If you do not use the knees, if you do not use the legs, no matter how well you box him up, unless you knock him down, the guy using two tools to your one tool is gonna win the round you because they're Brian utilizing just turns so much. One, right? Yeah, I think JoJo has to make sure. And then other fellow is. This fight is chippy, man. These guys well, are fighting like they don't like each other. Protect your nuts, dude. I mean, legitimate call. Brian kicked JoJo in the nuts in the first round. He kneed him in the face without a call, and then he kneed him in the crotch again. <laughs> well, is it allowed? JoJo's throwing hands like an MMA fight. He does not want to engage in the long range. He wants immediate pressure. He wants to put it in a hand base, and he wants to keep it ugly. Man, the Brian's playing some hard shots. <laughs> Donaldson's telling Jojo to get right back in his face. He has to. And hanging your hand in a kick base sport is stupid. Don't do it. Oh, man. I'm being so fast. He's looking a little tired here, guys. Yeah, this is this is a grueling fight. Oh, oh no! Got him! Got him! Oh man, Brian's Brian is Brian's red too. Lead on Brian. Was that a low blow or was that a body shot? That was a body shot. He's giving him an eight count. <laughs> Who's bleeding? It looks Brian like Brian is in this. That's the third nut shot from Brian in two rounds. <laughs> is 
Is it not allowed? I mean, what? Yeah, it's not allowed. Oh, crap, baby. <laughs> Where can he bleed? He's not whining. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Because you lose. You're going to stay over there. Interesting. Very. All right. I'll tell you, all this drama makes for an interesting fight. Definitely does. When we get emotions involved in fights, we tend to uh, burn off the gas a little too fast. Because you want to hurt somebody. Second you round, third round. damage on somebody. It's second. Not uh, this is, it's that not was sporting a anymore. It's not a calculated the process. Third. It becomes so the next well, last round. Yeah. Last round, dudes. Well, there's always uh, kicking it back in the nuts. Right. <laughs> but then we run into the, hey, you did that on purpose, right. and I think you did it on then purpose because you're mad that it's already been done, and I'm going to penalize you for trying to call me out early, and it becomes this thing, yeah. and it's never good. Yeah, it's like in football, like, at the end of the play, the guy will shove one guy, and then the person never, who reacts will get flagged. I've never seen yeah. him hit him in the nuts. So Sorry for the might just football be saying reference. That. Everybody. So get fool's ball! Like, you play fool's ball? He's trying to get I was like, too small, that's why I got in the <laughs> I just straight up wasn't allowed. Also, I really like cookies. <laughs> that should help with ball. Yeah, I, I refuse to admit that I was fat enough to be a lineman in high school. In high school. Now I will admit that I was. Antonelli reestablishing control. Touch of the gloves from these guys. They're fighting hard. I was hoping for a flying drop kick. That wouldn't surprise me. I mean, sometimes you just gotta go for it. Big shots Man. by JoJo. On yeah. Brian Paul. Nice oh, you you get him back, kick, 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 kick. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. We blocked that one. That boxing dip is going to bite him in the ass one day. It was almost just right now. That was a good one. Smart. Uh, he came up in high in that clinch. Kirk's doing it. No. Brian is taking a beating right now. I couldn't tell if he got rocked and stumbled or was just a little tired. Maybe a little bit of both, I think. Let's go for the JoJo. This is not where JoJo was to be. Nice. Big right hand by JoJo. Tank. Yeah. Oh. He's got to stay on the lane. He wants to win this fight. I know, I hate it. Come on, 30 seconds. Don't let him get you, Brian. These guys are exhausted. And rightfully so. There's been a ton of output here. Good body shot by Brian Paul. Mm -hmm. JoJo is hurting. Get him. Get him. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought Ryan was about to go down off that shot. Get him. Oh, turn it back. Only turn around. Oh. <laughs> Seven seconds. Oh. Come on. That was brutal. They took off the time. Come on, that's it. He's got to break those boxing habits. Dip it down. Turn in the back. Very, oh, very man. Oh, oh. Left oh. Right in there. He gave everything he had. He had Brian in trouble on multiple occasions, but man, I think that size difference really played a huge toll on him in that first and early second round. Let alone the three plus nut shots. Honestly, you, it's hard to recover from one good nut shot. How do you recover from three plus? Yeah. That's what he was saying. Uh, we could hear him saying, like, I can't breathe. We don't breathe. know because yeah. nobody got knocked out. I want to fight. I want to knock you kicked leave. in the nuts all the time. Yeah. That's not what I asked yeah, you. Yeah. Like, Man, that was a great fight, though. Very entertaining. That was good. That was a good. That was probably the best fight. Yeah. No, Brian had a good fight, too. He really did. 
did, he did a lot of good work in the clinch. He had he fought at a, <laughs> both these guys fought at a high pace most of their fights, you know. Third Joe round, Joe Rebel came right, out Brian. like a better guy. Uh, you know, if Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, after down three down rounds, we show the judges' scorecard. For your winner by unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Brian Cole. <laughs> Representing Agent City Martial Arts.